Hello everybody and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. It is I, Kinney, Katie's brother. I am one of the soap artists here at Royalty Soaps and we here at Royalty Soaps have decided to give Katie a little bit of a break since she is so, so pregnant right now and she's just gonna pop at any moment and we're all so excited but we wanna take some of the workload off of her. So I have offered to start making a few videos so that I can take some of the load off, but we can still make beautiful soap for everybody to enjoy here on the channel. So I have even designed my own soap, and this month we went for a theme that was Mother's Day and brunch. So whenever I thought of Mother's Day, I of course wanna make something for my mother, and one of the fragrances and a flower that she really loves is lavender. So I was immediately like, I could make a lavender soap, you know, I could use lavender buds, I could use lavender essential oil, I could make it lavender colored. And besides, that sound that sounded like it would make a really elegant soap. So I just started pursuing it and drawing up things and I drew my own little picture and Katie helped me pick out the the essential oil and the colors and everything since I don't I don't know that stuff right now. I'm I'm learning. I'm still I'm still learning. This design is an official Kinney soap, Kinney design. So I hope that we can make something that my mother will love and that she will be able to put in her bathroom on display. So without further ado, let's get soaping. So we are out here in the studio all by ourselves with no help and no input from anyone. So I just wanna show you the design that was drawn up for this. So as you can see, this is Katie's handwriting all over here, but I did draw it. I drew it so good, y'all. But basically what I'm trying to do is create three layers in the center and these two are gonna match and then sandwich between them is gonna be a white layer that has a uh, in the pot swirl of another purple and it's gonna have little apricot seeds in it as well to make it kind of look textured so we have all of our safety gear on we've got the gloves we've got the long sleeves I've got the glasses on and I've got a beard and a hairnet on so we are ready to mix in our lye solution with our oils as long as you have proper safety and proper education, dealing with lye is not scary. So I'm going to pour this lye water solution into my oils using the stick blender to break the fall so that it doesn't splash all over. I'm gonna blend this up until it's right past emulsion. I was about to scrape off this blender when I realized that I didn't have my spatula. Darn it. It's over here. Gordon, where's my spatula? I don't know if y'all are following me on Instagram, but I caught a little soap goblin that I named Gordon that keeps stealing my spatulas whenever I need them the most. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna split it into three containers. This is so scary doing this by myself <laughs> with no instruction, no way to get out if I make a mistake. <laughs> No, no escape. This is what Katie goes through all the time. Let's scrapey, scrapey our containy. So, 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 that's not. Ah, tadaima. Uh, okay, so now that it's split, we're gonna take these two off to the side. And in this first one, I'm going to mix up our first purple. So I've pre measured in these cups over yonder some purple. And this purple color is called I Dream of Purple by Mad Micahs. So let's blend that in and we'll see how it looks. I think that that looks nice. I think that we'll stick with this color. I think, I think that that's gonna look pretty good. Okie dokes. So since this one's all mixed in, I'm going to add our fragrance oil. So our fragrance oil is actually an essential oil, a lavender essential oil. So this says that it's like 100% pure essential oil, therapeutic grade fancy pants. I'm gonna give it a sniff and give you a scent review. Ooh, oh man. Can y'all smell that? It smells great. Mmm, it smells just, well, it smells just like lavender essential oil, which I already know how that would smell. So I'm gonna whip in the fragrance instead of, uh, instead of blending it, because I don't want it to accelerate too quickly. Hmm, actually, 
I do kind of want the bottom to accelerate a little bit. Maybe we will give it a blend. I'm gonna say I'm not gonna blend it, and I'm gonna blend it anyway. I'd love to, I'd love to have one of these bars myself. I like this smell a lot. I'm going to get our uh, molds, and we'll put them here, and we'll put down the first layer. So we're gonna lay down this first purple layer, I think. <laughs> I think everything's been done. We've got the color and the oil and I like it. So we're gonna pour it in. And we're gonna just pour in half of this container on the bottom, which should take up about a third. Good, it's thickening up a little bit. Cause I'm gonna have to pour on top of it and I don't want it to break the layer. These are a little watery. I'm gonna texture the top whenever they get a little less watery. So I'm going to mix up the uh, middle layer really quick. Okay, so the middle's gonna be a little bit different. I'm actually gonna split off part of this into a little container over here. And this part's gonna be purple, and this part's gonna be white. And I'm gonna make kind of a little in the pot swirl in just the middle. So we have our TD in here. I'm gonna mix it in. I forgot to say that TD stands for titanium dioxide. And I'm gonna add some apricot seed powder. Let's mix that in too. It looks fun, I hope that it looks good whenever we cut it. But it looks fun right now. We still, oh, we have, still haven't put in the fragrance oil, have we? Poo poo, poo poo, must work quick. Hee <laughs> hee. I wonder how much I have to, oh dear. There's giant chunks of TD right here. Oh no, everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Now we can mix up our little purple container. So I've mixed up a purple over here in the uh, part that we poured off and I'm going to kind of just shoot it in from afar, from up high, and make kind of a, a little swirl. That's gonna look interesting. <laughs> All right, scrapey, scrapey out our container. And with that done, we're gonna texture the top of our first layer, and then we're gonna pour this on top. If you remember in the design, I had kind of troughs. I don't know entirely how this is gonna look whenever it's uh, done, but Katie said that it was a good idea, so we're gonna see, oh no. Uh, I'm just gonna make kinda tr two little troughs. In fact, this may all look kinda silly, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'll texture the sides too. Let's get our second layer here. How thick is this? Because I, I don't wanna break the, the first layer. Do you think it's ready, y'all? You have vote in the upper right hand corner. Just kidding, we're not doing that yet. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in, the second layer that is, and I'm just gonna break the fall with my spoon. Spatula, whoa, that came out in a weird formation. Oh. So let's texture this second layer. Very cool, I kinda like, I kinda like it. I hope that it looks great at the end. We'll see. So we're gonna mix up that last layer. All right, let's get this essential oil mixed in. For it's too late. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm gonna bring the molds back and we're gonna put on this last layer. All right, so this layer is very hard and I'm just gonna still break the fall with a spatula just in case. Don't want it piercing through that layer of uh, white. Because there's layers in the soap, it's not a great idea to bang it on the ground, not until it's a uh, hard and then it'd be worthless anyway, but um, to smooth it out, it's normally not a good idea to bang it on the ground with layers because you kind of risk it breaking the layers. So best to uh, go to barbaric means of padding. <laughs> Purple is one of my favorite colors. Nah, that's not fair. Purple is my favorite color. It's so regal and it's so rare in nature. So it really makes it a special little treat to get to see such a lovely color. These are looking great. So I'm going to go mix up the piping. All right, so our piping is all mixed up, and you can see that I went for a very pastel, very light uh, purple color, and I didn't wanna put any drips in the bag, and I don't think that I'm gonna put any uh, drizzles on top. I want it to be a very elegant, 
very clean soap. Because we have the lavender essential oil, I thought that it'd be nice to kind of have one that's, you know, again, a little bit more elegant and kind of uh, not quite as busy. Uh, also, I couldn't figure out a way to uh, make it more complicated without messing up the style. As I mentioned before, this soap is kind of dedicated to my mother for Mother's Day. Yes, yes, the queen. So I thought that I'd talk a little bit about my relationship with her because it's always been special and we've always been very, very close. I remember us staying up so, so late, even on a school night, and we would, uh, we'd stay up and we would watch Seinfeld and Friends or Psych. We watched a bunch of shows together and it would always get so late and she would fall asleep on the couch and I would have to turn off the television and I would wake her up and then I'd uh, put myself to bed. And whenever Katie and I were younger, my mother would read us books almost every single night. And she would read them with all of the voices and she would put in all the inflection. She's a very wonderful reader. I think that that is probably part of why I enjoy doing voices so much and little fake accents and things is because my mother was always doing all of these voices and accents while she was reading these books to us. And I always thought that it was so engaging and so fun to listen to somebody that seemed so passionate. So like we read Anne of Green Gables. She read us The Wind in the Willows. She read us The Chronicles of Narnia. So many good books, and like I said earlier, she is, she's a bit of a night owl, and she would stay up so late reading us these books just for sometimes an hour. And we'd just sit on our bed, and I would chew on a carrot or something like that, and just listen to her read. That is such a special thing that she did for us, and I will always appreciate it. I am always amazed at my mother because she, she really does love, and I mean, this sounds a little bit silly, but she really does love every single one of her kids. And if you don't know she has a whopping 10 children so it's it's a little bit of an amazing feat that she has given us all so much care and so much individual love. She just really is an amazing woman. I hope that she loves this soap. I guess along the same lines as my mother caring about our interest she actually has watched some anime with me, especially the Studio Ghibli movies. She loves those. Okay, so we have all of the little dollops put on. I'm gonna sprinkle on some of these lovely lavender buds. So these are actual buds and they smell, they smell divine. Because this is a very uh, basic looking soap. You know, it's one tone and it doesn't have any drizzles. And I don't think I wanna put any glitter on it. So it's just gonna be, you know, just an elegant, pretty soap. I hope that this will make a good Good gift for maybe some mothers that don't like such a zany colors and crazy beautiful I mean beautiful things for sure but I mean you know everybody has their own style it is kind of funny that I chose to do this soap as my first one though <laughs> because I mean like I'm I'm wanting to do some like crazy fandom soaps and like do some crazy colors and make some real kawaii soaps but but it's Mother's Day and I wanted to make something special for my mom so and that is it for lavender bouquet guys would you look at that beautiful lavender color oh it looks so nice. We're gonna take the soap and we're gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we are going to cut it up. All right, so we are back to cut our lavender soap and I'm so excited to see what the inside looks like. Just looking at the outside, I've, I've got a good feeling about this one. I'm really, really hoping that this looks awesome. So I'm gonna lay it on its side just so that I don't nick any tops. I think this is short enough that we wouldn't have a problem, but I'll still lay it down just in case. And then we'll push down gently. <clears throat> All right, let's see what the middle looks like. Ooh, yes. That is so cool. Take a look at that inside. It looks like, it looks like the white is flowing through it. That is not at all what I expected or exactly what I was aiming for, but that is actually cooler than, uh, than my initial design. See, I thought that the, uh, that the edges would be a little bit more defined and kind of hard, like a layer, 
but because of that weird spooning that I did, it makes it look like there's like a river of white kind of flowing through it. Oh, that one looks, that one looks especially cool. I like that pattern. So since I am doing this solo, I'm going to be making my own question up to ask of for the day. So my question is, would you rather be a member of your favorite band or would you rather be an actor in your favorite movie or TV show? This seems like such a difficult question because like would the band break up if you leave? Would you really want to like have to tour with them everywhere? That's such a time commitment and it would be so much fun to be able to meet your favorite actors and to be able to like be a character in your favorite show but I, I just can't decide. Just click the, uh, the eye in the upper right hand corner and you tell me. And also tell me what your favorite band and what your favorite movie or television show that you'd want to be in is. I'm so happy that this turned out alright. I'd say the first, the first soap that the Earl made is a success. <laughs> if I do say so myself. I hope my mother loves it. I'm sure she will. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so pleased with how that turned out in the center. I was so worried about it because I did a weird spooning pattern and all kinds of different stuff that we don't normally do. But I love, I love, love, love how it looks. So I hope that you guys had as much fun as me. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe. And if you want to be updated, on the soaps that we make and on our releases, then you can follow Royalty Soaps at Instagram, at, at Instagram, on Instagram. You can follow Katie's personal Instagram, which is Katie W. Carson, or you could follow me at the Earl of Suds. Hey, my mustache is kind of falling down. So this soap is going to be part of our May release, which is going to release on May 6th, 6th, 6th. Listen, I went through some speech therapy whenever I was a kid because I had trouble with my with my THs and my S's, so please bear with me on the 6th. So be sure to set your calendars because some of these soaps go so quick, it's just not fair. Now that the video's done, I've got a mission for you. Go do something that makes you happy. Some options would be you could take a bath. Or if a bath is not available, which personally I don't have a bathtub either, you could sit down in your shower and you can just let the shower just shower on top of you. It feels great. Or drink a coffee if you drink coffee. I don't know. I'm totally, I'm totally out of ideas. I'm sorry. I need more practice thinking of these things. I have weird things that I do like if I'm wanting to relax, then I like sit down and I do a puzzle like an old man or something like that. So I can't, I can't suggest always what I would do if I was relaxing. But anyway, I hope that you just have a lovely day and thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next Earl Makes or Earl Collabs or whatever. We don't have a name for it. I'll see you in the next video that I'm in. Meow. I've got crazy eyes. It's kind of scary. Meow. I still have crazy eyes. Whatever.